What's up old school homies? Let's talk about his piano on the decline. Definitely not. I would just say the the piano pretty much has too many advantages to ever be slowed down. You know, especially with all the synthesizers. Those are kind of pianos. The reason synthesizers are usually smaller, like like this one. That's not actually a synthesizer, but usually synthesizers work within like a certain range. Pianos, you get the full entire range, but synthesizers make an effect that sounds good in a certain range. And if you go out of it, it sounds like shit. So that's usually why those are smaller. But the piano can't be stopped because of how many keys it has. Let's be honest, like, you could use both hands to be in different octaves at the same time. You have every single note. Well, this one has 76 keys, but a lot of them have 88. Pretty much at 76, it gets ridiculous on either end. And you... You have a lot to work with here, I would say, a lot, especially with eight different settings, and that's very few settings for most pianos that are keyboards, you know. This is a MIDI controller with a lot of stock settings, but MIDI controllers are pretty much what pianos have turned into, so you just got to get used to what a MIDI controller is. You have a, a computer that you hook up to it or a laptop and that way you're uh, having more sounds available to you. The same sounds. This, I heard this was based off a of Steinway piano. I don't really know. It had to be based off of some other stuff too because there's a bunch of other like a kelp clavinet sounds like real accurate um, yeah, I think it is a piano, like, it's pretty much a piano, it has velocity settings, and this is an old one, they only got better, well, you know, Roland actually spent a lot of time with, you know, doing the research and development, so I wouldn't say better, Sometimes people think things just keep getting better and better and better, but sometimes older stuff, they spent a little bit more time EQing it and stuff, like Roland spent a lot of times just trying to be like the best digital piano maker. And it, it becomes its own little art form, you know. People need to appreciate the people that engineered some of this to be what it is the iconic sound of the 80s.